Hi there, today I'm doing a review of the Lacertus violin. Let's dive right into it. So Lacertus violin reached out to me on Instagram. They asked me if I would like to try one of their instruments. So I graciously accepted. And since I do have students who often look for instruments, I was intrigued to hear about it. They're not paying me to do this video. They simply asked if I would like to try it. And if I happen to like the violin, feel free to talk about it. And here we are. So spoiler alert, I actually do enjoy this violin. Let's talk about pricing of instruments for a second. The price bracket, let's say, between $2,000 and $10,000 is quite an interesting area because instruments by a master violin maker are usually $15,000 and up. But instruments between $2,000 and let's say $10,000 are not exactly beginner instruments either. You can absolutely find some true gems in this category and I think that this happens to be one of them. These violins go for about $3,000. They differ in prices on the website but it's roughly about the same. So it's a very interesting price point for somebody who wants to start with something that's actually properly put together. These violins are handmade out of aged wood. I think it's a rather handsome violin. It doesn't give me cheap violin vibes at all. It doesn't have this solid orange look like a piece of furniture. Furniture. And I also like the solid one-piece flamed back. I think that's very pretty. So the violin comes with a case that's definitely an upgrade from the cheap ones that you would get with an entry-level instrument. It's got two compartments and also comes with a bow. The bow that comes with it is kind of basic. It's not as good as the violin, but it's still nice that they included it. It says Lacertus Guarneri copy and then the date and the name of the luthier who made it. What I really like about this instrument is how well put together it is. Meaning the string spacing is exactly right. The string height is also very comfortable. The length of the tailpiece, like everything seems to make sense and it feels like somebody has really put some thought into it. You can tell that it has been properly set up so it can perform in its absolute best. What also surprised me was the fact that they sent it with Tomastic Pi strings on it. Those are expensive strings. The strings themselves are over $100 worth. And not only that, they also paired it with a heavy gauge Pirastro Gold E string, which is actually very interesting because I've seen this combination done many times on great instruments also. The heavier tension of the E string is supposed to balance out the G strings, so it also opens up the G string, which is actually something that I'm really impressed to see on this violin. And I actually did reach out to the company to ask if it's like their standard set of strings that they use, and they said they put different strings on every single violin, so they take the personality of each instrument into account, which I like, because not every instrument handles a certain set of strings well. So it seems like they actually test these instruments and see what works best, which is really cool. The only thing I changed about the violin was the chin rest, because I just feel more comfortable using something a bit more slopey, but I talk about that in all my other videos, so I won't bore you with that right now. I'm just gonna link that video in the description below. So I changed the chin rest, and I also removed the fine tuners. When it arrived, it had all four fine tuners. And here's a pro tip for you, actually. If you have a violin with all four fine tuners, you're probably not doing yourself a favor by keeping them on. You see the thing with fine tuners is they add weight. These suckers weigh 4 grams each, so if you take them off you're saving 12 grams on your tailpiece and that can really open up the sound of your violin. Also, it's time to learn to use the packs for Christ's sake. Okay, now let's get to the most important point. How does it sound? Well, you be the judge.
even I enjoy playing this violin. And I've been fortunate to play a lot of great, great, great violins. I think it has a very dark, powerful sound. I also like the fact that it wants to be worked a little bit. It's not one of those violins that just yells at you right away and doesn't give you any depth. I think you can really play with this one. Because it's so well put together and so well set up, it really doesn't feel or sound like a lower priced instrument. It definitely punches way above its price category. For me, the customer for this violin is somebody who is either a beginner who wants to start with something really nice, or somebody intermediate and advanced who can still get a lot out of this instrument. For professionals, I would say it's a very nice instrument to have if you're going to play a gig somewhere and you don't want to bring your more valuable instrument with you. Let's say you're playing outdoors or you're going on a vacation and you don't want to worry about it too much. That's how I'm using this instrument. I've used it on a number of gigs where I don't necessarily feel like bringing my most valuable instrument I have. And the funny thing is my colleagues actually complimented me on the sound of the violin. So, whether you're a professional accomplished violinist who just wants to have a violin they don't have to worry about too much, that's still very playable and very enjoyable to play, or you're a beginner, intermediate player who wants to have something really nice to play on, I can absolutely recommend this violin. Nice job, Lacertis, you're getting the Pogadi stamp of approval, if there is such a thing. So, if you're interested in browsing their instruments online, you can find the link to the shop in the description below. That is all from me today, happy practicing and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye now. Thank you.